Oh wow, today, Wednesday, we dig into 2 Corinthians chapter 10, and man have I got a verse for you that fits perfectly with our social media inundated society. Here's what it says in verse 18. It's not the one who commends himself who is approved, but the one the Lord commends. It's not the one who commends himself in front of the world, in front of the public, in front of his family, in front of his spouse. It's the one the Lord commends that matters. Listen, we've talked about excellence and we've talked about investment or sowing yes, the last two days. Today, Paul uses his own life story to talk about another element of what true worship looks like to God, what we should be giving back to God for what he's done for us. And this word today is humility. <laughs> we, we live in a social media inundated society. Have you ever thought about this? How much of social media posts are the are the peaks of our lives, the, the things that we most want everybody else to see about us. We, we don't post up there the bad hairdos and the, and the struggles of our life. Maybe you might blast other people about your struggles or seek to get affection or appreciation or somebody's encouragement in a bad, in a bad post or a negative story. But the fact is most posts on social media are to get attention for ourselves or to get to show everybody else how blessed we are. That doesn't impress God. He's not looking for our reputation. He's not looking for our attraction. He's not looking for how we view ourselves. He's the one that decides what's commendable. And I think about my life and maybe yours, where so much of our life is to attract the attention of others. <laughs> Many people go work out at the gym or change their diet, not just to get healthy, but to look good for somebody else. <laughs> Some people, you know, you can just look at their Twitter logs and their TikToks and all the stuff that they post, and it's all about attracting attention to them. What do we do to attract God's attention? What are we doing to be commended by Him? What, what is the actions that you can take for God to commend you? Here, I'll tell you what they're not. They're not what everybody else sees. They're the things you do in private. They're, they're the way you spend your time each day. They're the way, yes, that you give and serve his kingdom and, his, and the community, but also the way you think and the way you feel towards other people. See, humility is what is commendable to God. And when you humble yourself and make him Lord and Savior and look to, look to bring honor to him, he commends that. So I wanna remind you, he'll never love you more or less for what you do. He always will love you completely. That is just the inherent nature of God. And he wants our obedience, not our impressiveness. And finally, he will be you know, the world and hell will be full of popular and impressive people. But the ones that you'll see in heaven were humble. And they honored God. And they lived for him. Not for themselves. So be humble today. Don't worry about the social media posts. Don't even, don't even honor me for this one. Just use it as a reminder <laughs> that he is honored by the humble not the proud. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.